Hello guys, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2024 Mathematics. Today we will cover the part 4 of the memory base question. Myself Dr. Harishkar, you can simply follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the GATE Mathematics and you can see the various lectures available on this GATE 2024 as well as the other all are available in the shortcut tweaks. You can see if you watch all my lecture you can solve easily all those PY questions and the coming examination a very simple map. Now, if you are regular watch of my YouTube videos, then you can solve again this question with the help of the 10 second time period. What is that? First of all, how you can solve this 10 second? What is the dimension of this? 4. What is the dimension of this? 4. So that means the matrix T is my 4 cross 4. Once this matrix is my 4 cross 4, then what is the characteristics order? What is the characteristics is again the fourth order. So that means this and these options are cancelled. Remember this is the memory based question. It may be that the options are changed, but uh, it may be option that there are some change options are there, but the degree 2 will be cancelled. Now, what is the another tips as I usually gave you in my previous lectures, whenever you have a matrix of A, sorry, 0, A, B and 0, then what is the eigenvalues of the this? Eigenvalues are plus minus product of this A, B. So corresponding to this, what is the eigenvalue of this? Plus minus 2. Fine. Now, once you have this matrix 0 to A, then can I define the matrix? If I say this is my capital A, how you can define this A into B? Again, it's a very simple. You can define directly. It's a 0 because the size of this is my 2 cross 2. So this is my 2 cross 2. This is also 2 cross 2. And this value will be? the size of this identity matrix it's my a i and it is my b i fine now find the determinant of this or the eigenvalues so what is the a b i means b b 0 0 and this a i means it's a 2 cross 2 so it's a a 0 0 a fine so can you find the eigen find find the eigenvalue or the determinant so if you find the eigenvalues of this what is the eigenvalue of this is a a square fine what is the eigen product of the eigenvalue is b square so that is the determinant of this matrix so look at that what is the a 2 so 4 into 4 is a plus 16 so you can see the product of the eigenvalue is my plus 16 but it's a minus 16 this is the right otherwise if you don't remember my this shortcut tricks you can find this what is the basis of what is the basis of the matrix it's a 1 0 0 then 0 1 0 0 then 0 1 0 0 and 0 0 0 1 so this is my matrix b so if i multiply them the first if you if you take 1 0 0 the answer will be this into a so the first value will be my 0 then 0 then 2 then 0 fine corresponding to this it will be my 0 it's a 0, it's a 0, it's a 2. Corresponding to this, it will be my 2, 0, 0, 0. And it's a 0, 1, 0, 0. It is my 0, it is my 2, it's a 0, it's a 0. So what is the my matrix T? I can write the first value 0, 0, 2, 0. Corresponding to this, 0, 0, 0, 2. 2, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 2, 0, 0. You can see the same matrix I have obtained. Fine. So there is no need to apply the base. You can directly run. So what is the determinant of this? This into this. So the determinant of this is my 16. So again, the C is my right. If you are new to my videos, you can simply scan and join my WhatsApp group for the various discussion part. We already cover all these questions in my this PY questions series. Okay, look at this another one. Okay, you have to find the Jordan canonical form. Again, a very simple. What is the connection of the Jordan canonical form? Which is related to the geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalue. So, what is the geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalue? Kernel of A minus lambda i. So, you can see from here. What does it mean? The geometric multiplicity of 1 is 1. From this, it's a rank of this. Can you find the kernel of? t minus 2i since the dimension is 4 so 4 minus 2 is my 2 
so the geometric multiplicity of 2 is my 2 what does it mean of this geometric multiplicity of 1 means means there exist maximum one block corresponding to eigenvalue 1 and the size of that block will be that one similarly the geometric multiplicity of 2 means there exists a maximum one block corresponding to the eigenvalue 2 and whose size will be my 2 so firstly we can discard the option from here eigenvalue 1 size will be 1 so you can see its a size is my 2 so this option is cancelled the size is my 2 this option is cancelled the size is 1 size is 1 there is a one block corresponding to eigenvalue 2 size is my 2 cross 2 it's a size is my 2 by 2 size is my 2 by 2 but no this a size is my 3 by 3 this is my 3 it's a 1 and 1 fine so what but we need a maximum size is you need a maximum size is my 2 so this size is cross you can see it's a maximum size 2 one eigenvalue is here so correct answer is a is the right answer you can see the simple this lecture are here you can watch this lecture related to the diagonal bubble so you can see i can show you you can watch this lecture here diagonal bubble and the jordan canonical form you can see the various shortcut tricks for this lecture okay look at this another one if capital t is a mapping from r4 to r4 such that here this is non zero non identical which of the following is there one of the simplest one first of all is a mapping and clearly say the degree of this is not 4 so it means this value what is that this is my annihilating polynomial fine so can you find the minimal polynomial corresponding to this so if i say this is my annihilating polynomials then the minimal polynomials is i can return like here minimal polynomial is either lambda is 0 either lambda minus 1 0 or lambda minus 1 is equal to 0 but clearly say this value will not be possible because it's a non-zero if this is there again it will not be possible because it's a non-identical so therefore the minimal polynomial of the t is a of a minus 1 and fine now clearly say it's a minimal polynomial and minimal polynomial has a linear factor what does it means it means it is my diagonal so yes this option is correct again you can see this kind of the shortcut tricks in the same lecture diagonal bubble now is it invertible no why because one of the eigenvalues is my zero so once one of the eigenvalues is zero it can never be a diagonal bubble. it's never be a invertible clear so now the two options are solved now look at whether they are similar or not what is the s what is the what is the annihilating polynomials of the s is it given to you no so it means it can be anything and firstly i can think about here eigenvalues of the s is my 0 and 1 again it's a degree 4 so what are the minimal polynomials of this it may be x into x minus 1 it may be x square into x because it's a dimension 4 so it it may be here it may be x into x minus 1 square or it may be x cube into x minus 1 or it may be x square x minus 1 whole square any of the possible form when you can say that t and s are similar fine it is similar only when the jordan block of the s t is the same of the jordan block of the s corresponding to the each eigen value fine now again firstly i can define uh, you can take any of the pair fine it's on you choice you can take any of the pair let's say i can take this pair so what is the jordan block corresponding to them it's a zero and zero so i can take this pair and this is my here fine this is the jordan block corresponding to the s or you can take any pair because it has the zero and one can because this is the annihilating polynomial what is the what is the characteristics polynomial of the t so i can take any one say x x minus 1 cube is of the degree 4 so what is that it's a 0 1 1 1 fine now clearly say 
this is a block of one the order is two but there is a block of order three so the corresponding the jordan block is not same it means they are not similar fine so this option is directly cancelled now look at this third option uh, second option s square is equal to s that means it is has the same annihilating kind polynomial rank of the s and rank of t so remember t is my diagonal bubble fine what is the tips for you whenever t is diagonal bubble, can you find the relation of the t and the rank which is the number of non zero eigen values non zero eigen remember this result is only applicable when t is diagonal bubble again from here i can say s is diagonal bubble so the rank of the s is my number of the non zero eigen values of the s so what we can see both the ranks are same what does it means the rank non zero eigen values of the s and t are same so that means if you find the jordan block corresponding to the t like here find jordan block corresponding to the s can it be possible no why because you can see the rank of this matrix is my 3 rank is my 2 but we need a rank is same so what is the possible position either it has a non zero eigen value either the rank is 3 rank is 2 so once both the rank has same it means the same number of the jordan blocks will be appear so yes they are similar so the correct options are b and c are my right answer of this problem so you can see is a very simple approach you can solve like here you can join with me through my whatsapp group i hope you can simply learn it i will see more lectures on this coming one till then you can simply like share and comment on video best of luck students happy learning